Welcome everyone to an episode of The Dark Side with Anne and Renata. Where are we tonight? We are at Derby Jail in Derby in the UK. And we have actually booked out this whole place all to ourselves just the two of us uh, for a big investigation tonight well a little investigation with the two ghost grannies but we've had Richard Felix here and he's given us a rundown of the history and we thought we might take you on a walk around and show you what we're going to investigate tonight come with us apparently no one leaves Derby jail disappointed <laughs> So you do need to watch our True Hauntings episode on Derby Jail. We did a lot about the history and we did a lot about the ghost stories that are associated with this building. But of course, hearing it from the horse's mouth, Richard Felix, is a completely different thing. And he generously gave his time to speak to us about a lot of the history and a lot of the points that are interesting here. One of the really interesting things that I found out that I didn't know was that at one point in time this was a nightclub and that's when he bought it uh, and he spent a lot of time and money trying to put it back together so it kind of looked like what it was before it was a nightclub <laughs> which was a jail. Uh, the difference between a jail and a jail, J-A-I-L or G-A-O-L, is that this was a holding place for people who were going to go to court to be convicted, but they had to wait for the uh, seasonal assizes when you could go to court um, and listen to or find out what your sentence was. So sometimes people were here for just a few weeks, sometimes they were here for months. Mm. And of course we've heard that many of the people that were here went to Australia for transportation. So let's have a look at some of these areas. Um, let's start with this one. Ye old night clubby. <laughs> <coughs> so this was a room where the prisoners could come and uh, well, work. This. There was a wall here. So this was a, a, a cell here, and there was a cell on the other side. As Renata was saying, when it became a nightclub, um, they tore out some of these walls and made bigger spaces, which was very naughty. Mm. Very, very naughty. But this was a, a room that was used for uh, families to come and say goodbye to the prisoners before they left from here and uh, the prisoners could also come and do some work here so as Richard explained if you could read and write you might read a letter from a loved one for somebody for some money um, you could write a letter to a loved one for some money um, maybe there was uh, the ability to fix shoes or to uh, fix clothing uh, and in those first years all the people that were here were mixed up so um, men women and children um, functioning or not functioning very well they were all together so yes interesting <coughs> if you come through I love this about the bar is that this this they've left the bar in here but look at the um, the brick wallpaper and he has left that from when it was a nightclub. I think that's <laughs> hilarious. So this is one of these famous doors that have all the uh, marks on them left behind by prisoners who had been in. And uh, as Richard was explaining, a lot of witch marks here. So one of the uh, most common witch marks that you'll see are these two W's. which was um, for Mary, um, a double V, the most virgin of all virgins or something or other that he said. Um, but you've got people's names also here. They were very superstitious. 
as this one that also has the daisy wheel on it to uh, mm. trap the evil spirits. No, I think that's down further. So these, all these markings are on both sides of the doors. So there's lots here. As you saw before, people were counting off the days here. Hmm. There's another one counting off the days. Someone's done a lovely little Glow. tree here. Look at that. I think that's a pretty new one. <laughs> that looks very new. Hmm. And, um... Hello. This is the door to outside. Shall we go out for a minute? Yep. Or, um, I might hold the door. The last one well, was still got some light. <coughs> it says graveyard. One way. One way in and no way out with a ye oldie speaker. So what's happened is that they have decided to put a nine story uh, unit flats or a unit of flats, flats of, yeah. yeah. Sort of like these ugly things over the back there. Yeah. And so beyond that gate, which is where you used to always come in, is now just um, a work site. So Richard's not gonna be able to get in that way anymore. And his famous doorway with Derby Jail written on it is there. Which is sad. Well, as he said, he can't even get a lawnmower in to be able to mow the lawn. Yeah. Um, but she's a um, hanging beam. So he does do some reenactments every so often. Yeah, he says he has some executions some weekends, which I thought for, was for, hilarious. For the kiddies? <laughs> Nothing like that. It was like the one we were watching today. That was pretty graphic. <laughs> it was pretty graphic. Anyway, because like, sometimes they used to put them on the cart. is yeah, no. true to size. No. I don't think that one would work very well, but you get the gist of it. And the same thing. Backyard of horrors. You'd hate to be moving in here for the first time and seeing this over the fence. You'd be wondering what the hell your neighbour was going to be like. <laughs> but what he did mention was that this, this jail was actually twice as long, so it went into that building there as well. Um, but now, and, and higher up. It was this whole building. Yeah. It was all jail, and now they've gutted it and taken out all the cells and turned it into apartments and offices and, yeah. Ew. Must be fun for the neighbours on the weekend. That's for someone with really big balls to clamp them down. Oh. Yeah, I went there. Oh, <laughs> 17.56. Oh, it's doing that stupid thing. Oh, it's bitingly cold. It is. It's really cold. Tomorrow, I think, is supposed to be the first day of summer here. Okay. May we come in? Slightly dramatic again, but never mind. Oh, they like the drama, don't they? Yeah. Should I go, demon? Oh, that's the loo. You don't want to see the loo. Yes, this was the nightclub loo. Very exciting. Um, 
So it's still the same as what it was at the nightclub? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, we had the murder room. Bit gruesome and gory. It is. Now, if the little kitties are watching, it's time to turn off. It's time to turn away. Prickers and scrapers, tools used. Oh, these are is up that... for the witches. <gasps> marks upon the body of the witch, a spot blemish birthmark. These marks are where the witch's familiar fed from. These marks were pricked to bleed the witch. Can oh. I show you my mark? I've got a mark. <laughs> I do, right there. See, it's just, it just happened to be a really rude finger, but mm. that's where it is. And we have a real skeleton and two real skulls down there. But I remember seeing a video on YouTube with uh, some ladies talking in here with Richard and um, some orbs went past and they all got very excited about the orbs. Okay. Now this fella's had a really rough time. He has. That's going to give me nightmares. <laughs> Would you kiss that face? Mm. And of course we have over here. That's horrible. So here are some ticking noises. Yeah, that's the... Um, the IR light up there? Probably the IR light, yeah. So it just it goes on intermittently because I just saw the red light was on and now it's off. Mm -hmm. It's gone back on yeah. again. You were shining a light. So we have to be aware of that noise that that is the IR light switching on and off. This is why it's really important that you actually do a walkthrough. Brutal history found in a place of hospitality. That's somebody's head. Great. Well, there's certainly enough stuff here for trigger objects. Mm. Um, on the opposite side, you have um, the dark cell. So. And it's dark. You're going to make me go in, aren't you? Yeah. Ooh. Many a paranormal investigator's bottom has sat there. Lingering away, going, Spirit! <laughs> give us a sign! Give us a sign, <laughs> give us a sign Spirit! So, yes. Is that manacles up the back? Yeah. Oh, nice. Pretty nice. I'll string you up later. Mm. I've got a set of these at home, interesting. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> it's on your bedroom, <laughs> your bed set, isn't it? <laughs> and we have some really ye oldie cobwebbies. <laughs> yeah. Again, good to know this, so if we feel cobwebs on our face, it yes. really could be. Yes. I think we need to take those down before we start, I reckon. <laughs> <clears throat> So it is a small space, but it's supposed to be highly active. Mm. Now this is the debtors. Uh, again, oh, door, 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 door. So again, lots of marks from people who have been in there. Some of them actually um, put in gallows. Apparently this is what they did for uh, here, if they were to be executed, they drew gallows on the door. So you can see they've got that one there, it's got their initials, there is another one there with more initials. Um, it's a little hard to see in this light. How's that for a big fancy H? Mm -hmm. Got. Is that got it? Oh, cotton. Got cotton. Chris, Chris Noon. Uh, something or other. He, uh, Richard told us what it was. Now, 
Here's one of the dates. 1818. Hmm. And the debtors, which is supposed to be even more active than the condemned man. And we've got a very sexy person oh, there on the bench. And with a little boy. She's striking a pose. She is. She is working it. Hello, lady. She's got the manacles on, got the chains. Red nail oh. polish. Oh. oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um... I wonder what she was in here for. Well, let's guess. We're going to have to give her a name. Shell. Sure. Surely not. Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that's, that's kind of... That's oh, there is one more. What? There is one more. Oh, there's some around the back, aren't there? There's one more around the back. Apart from, it's loaded with spirits. <laughs> there is one more here. And this was solitary confinement, wasn't it? Yes. Where they change into the bench. Yes, so they had a bench and you would actually be chained in place, unable to move. In the darkness. Yuck. It's very, very small. They all have these round roofs. There's no ventilation. Tiny. Mm. But it's not, they can't even get up and walk around and, and stretch. They no. just had to be. And imagine being in here in um, winter. Like it's cold tonight. Yeah. We're, we're rubbed up. Um, but in winter here, I couldn't even imagine it. Um, some of the cells that you saw actually uh, at one stage would have had six people inside. Yeah. And so we've done a walkthrough. So we're going to take a seat now and um, have a think how we're going to do this. Of course, we'll turn lights off. We wanted to have lights on so that we could really take a look around. Um, but we will do some work in the dark. As you do. Yeah. Back right. soon.